Hi everybody, it's Rolex here once again in this uh, Magic 5 to Hidden Dirt series update. Uh, and this part is part 5 because I messed up about the number and stuff like that. So I decided, well, just call the, far the first part, which is the zero part, uh, the part 1, you know, just because, you know, like I messed it up. And I'm going to call this uh, part 5 and from now on it's going to be side 5, 6, 7, 8, blah, 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 blah. Uh, this part, I actually upgrade uh, and you know it's taking longer because i actually go from tier 7 to tier 11 and i think it's worth to make a video now because you know, i don't want to update uh just some random drops and stuff like that like all the time i think it's not worth and you probably don't want to see that much of like progression toward the uh the the, the headhunter or something like that uh, you probably want to see how my character is growing up or something like that and I did change a couple things, a big thing actually, a lot, a lot of stuff on the build. Uh, the gear probably still the same. I did crop, uh, we crop my wand, and I will show you in a second. Uh, but uh, to be able to run tier 11, and I will try to push it to tier 15. Um, you know, if I can push it to tier 15, then I can probably run tier 16. So in the end, probably running tier 16 for the tower. Uh, it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be really, really risky to run, and you probably die a lot. Uh, you have to keep that in mind even with like max res uh, even with like maximum resistance cap uh, which is 75 percent and you get the goal and sometimes you run into the uh, resistant shrine which will help you uh, survive quite a lot uh, but even then it's still really really squishy character and you probably die a lot still uh, you know uh, unless you have like really really insane uh you know uh, what is this a uh, cluster jewel or a jewel in general and you know, I will show you in a second how much I changed for a build, and I'm probably running uh, uh, something else as well. Uh, you know, like this is not the final version of the build because the final version of the build probably running Wrath instead of Anger. And as you can see from the video, uh, that I probably switched to Anger at that point uh, because I didn't really record the whole thing because you know it's like five six hours and it's it, it taking up like a lot of space on my uh, on my PC. Uh, on my hard drive and it's not really you know good to manage those things and stuff like that uh, but well we not really have anything much to talk about uh, for the intro anyway so let's get into the character and the results so for the tier 7 I got six nurses so this is from purely from tier 7 I think I ran like 60 or something map uh, but now I ran another 50 maps on a tier 11 I got only one nurse uh, and who was like what why did you up the tier and it's drop less? Is it better to stay at tier 7? Uh, I mean, it's probably better to stay at tier 7 if you uh, have a weaker character or if you don't want to push uh, into, um, you know, like uh, using Eldritch, uh, Eldritch Influence, uh, like Siang Exact or the uh, Adel Bow, right? But uh, I want to push it to that point to be able to run those Influence and then I have one space open for the uh, Scarab. So, that's why I'm still pushing to tier uh, to higher tier. Uh, well, I mean, I'm just bad luck about the nurse drop, and I think if I ran a, like maybe ten or twenty more maps, I would get probably one more or two more uh, nurse uh, at that point. And I ran with the same thing, doing the same setup. Uh, I get my map, you know, like my pool of map by myself. Uh, you just run with the, um, you know, the gilded calligraphy scarab. You you will probably get. Uh, scarab like along the way when you run this strategy uh, so you probably have like a cartography scarab you probably run the polished one you probably run the gilded one maybe sometime you get a wing scarab uh, and then you run those things as well but I don't think you can drop wing scarab from uh, strong boxes um, which probably makes sense just run uh, the gilded one and then when you get you know your map pool ready to go I usually run 10 of them in uh, you know in the yeah, 10 of the maps like whatever map like random maps or even tower itself uh to get um you know like um, you know uh this scarab like right uh cartography scarab like any any of them works uh, i ran 10 of the map and then you know whatever how many much how many how much map i get doesn't really matter i will eventually sustain it so as you can see i have 20 left here and then i also have uh, you know zero here i have under id here as you can see, I have Beyond and I have like some map that I cannot run, which is uh, Cannot Leech. Uh, the only problem right now with my character is Cannot Leech is really bad because you have no mana. And 
I'm trying to get a way around it, which is the mana gain on kill. I've been thinking about using sacrifice, uh, blood sacrifice, uh, which is the uh, jewel. Uh, it's, a, it's basically a meme jewel, but when you look at the jewel, where is it? Dude, I don't have it. Well, I mean, I've went there all of it, but well, uh, that, that one jewel is, uh, you know, you lose 1% of life when you kill monsters, and then you gain 1% uh, mana. Uh, lose energy shield as well, but losing energy shield and losing life, you can counter wrap with the Cinder Swallow for energy shield, and then you can counter wrap with the Blood Drinker. So you still gain life uh, on kill, and it's probably worth doing if you have trouble running, uh, cannot lead. But I don't have socket up shield uh, right now, and you know, my drop I think I dropped like uh, five, I dropped nine Exalted Orb in a total of like. Uh, a tier 7 run and tier 11 run so in total like a hundred and something maps i don't remember at this point because i ran in total of 288 maps so i'm gonna call it right now uh 288 as you can see on the uh, on the left side of the screen uh, which will close it up because well i mean it's blocking the screen and you probably don't want to see it uh it's, it's for the streaming purpose and what for me to keep tracking up the like, how many maps i ran uh, so I, I have like 10 exalts set, but this is not a pure profit so you can see that i'm uh, I have to buy uh, Amber Scarab and I have to buy Harmonger Scarab still. So it's it, it probably going to go sink into those things. And then also the Category 50 Cell, it's also almost running out. Um, and uh, Six Sense. So uh, I got a really, really uh, lucky on the Six Sense buy because, uh, you know, there's some people who come into the stream and then, like, oh, okay, you want to buy Six Sense? You can buy from me because you know, then going through all the trade. Uh, side it's really really not fun uh, for buying six and sometimes you're going down to 41 per uh, one exalts and they're not even like respond so it's really really annoying uh, trading in six then trading any currency it's really really bad if you have your friends who has like six then you have who has like um, you know the, these bulk uh, number of currency uh, and want to sell to you yeah you should buy from them you know uh, because it's been make life easier and in total of like a hundred and something maps, I got seven nurse. So this is really bad. This is not a good or average for me. Uh, usually you would probably get around 16 uh, maps per one nurse or maybe 17 maps if you get unlucky. But yeah, you know, sometimes sometimes shit happen and you're going to get uh, you know used to it. Uh, and let's talk about the character, but how much I changed the character. Uh, first of all, I changed the one as you can see here. I just bought a bunch of... Uh, uh, uh screaming essence uh, not screaming essence uh defending a uh, defending essence deafening essence okay uh, of wrath and i used i think i used four of them and it's turned out like this and i think this is okay you know it has no attack speed it has really good crit chance which i lacked of uh and then it had crit multi as well so i decided to drop this node which is go uh, you know crit chance and crit multi as you can see here, I dropped two of this node, and then I decide to run with. Oh well, I'm gonna talk the uh, you know the the passive tree after the the character. And what you were looking for here is just a bunch of uh, cold damage and line damage. Uh, you just use Sexton, and then if you get a cold damage here, and then you can just like multi crop. You know, like you don't need anything on the suffix. Uh, you can multi crop, and then you crop crit chance with the. Uh, stat because you're playing, uh, you know, you're playing um, Crystallite on the signs, and then you are going to crop the pen on top of that. So it's actually really, really nice. But what you can see here is like, well, I need a little bit of cold damage as well. So, you know, having five damage, uh, crafting cold damage is better than pen at this point for me. So that's why I'm still, I'm, I'm crafting, uh, you know, cold damage because you can do it here. I have 95% pen, and when my Trinity is up, which is up all the time, by the way, uh, you have 16% pen, which is bring it up to 111% uh, elemental penetration. You can run any map mod uh, with this. There's no map mod that's gonna make you feel like you do less damage, except for the increased life on monsters and stuff like that. So this is basically just abusing the power, the, the power of Crystallite Omni Science and the power of perfect form combined. Because when you have a lot of uh, resistance, as you can see, I have 93 whole resistance, even with minus 7% venture scamble. If I could get a better one, then 
uh, this resistance will go up uh, to about like 130, 120, uh, depending on the, the the ring that I got, right? So, and then that's probably bring me up to 20,000 inflation base. And then when you have so much uh, frenzy charge, you have like 4% inflation per frenzy charge. Uh, and sometimes you even go up higher than that because you're stealing a uh, monster mod for the resistance. And you get so much, so much uh, evasion. You basically evasion cap. You know, probably like have fifty thousand, sixty thousand in map, and that's pretty much just cap your resistance, uh, cap your uh, evasion. Now the only thing you have to worry about is the physical damage spell because you don't have any uh, spell suppression. There was no spell suppression on tree, no special suppression on gear. Uh, you can probably drop this, but I wouldn't do that because well, you get hexproof for free. You get uh, immune to curse for free uh, on this, uh, this, uh, you know, like chill, and it's pretty cheap too uh, compared to uh, any things that I just randomly put into the character. I think this is pretty cheap, and you probably want to get this like early on uh, because it's five percent pen, as you can see, five uh, five uh, fifty uh, intelligence. If you have a max roll, it's a six percent pen plus uh, six percent elemental resistance, and. You know, it gets a bunch of evasion, it got decent amount of energy chill, which if you want to do ghost dance, you can do it as well. You know, 400 energy chill with, you know, 20, uh, you know, 200, uh, 2000 life. Well, your energy chill is kind of a lot, like when you have that. But because I'm running a single swallow, I don't have even quality it because I want to change it. Um, you know, recover 2% energy shield when you kill enemy during flash effect means that you can recover your energy shield pretty easy uh, but if you want more coverage uh, recover uh, on the energy shield you can do go dance as well so that's uh, your option right there and the passive tree that i changed i did change i drop a whole things here i uh, drop, drop a whole life here uh, as you can see i even drop i drop like four life nodes i only lose about 300 life which because i don't have that much flat life on my gear or my tree uh, on my character so that's why dropping percent life it's not that big of a deal uh you would want to get flat life more than percent life on this character because you don't have um you know much flash life flat life anywhere on gear and i decided to drop tempest blast because this thing doesn't really do anything it's only give me four eight percent uh, attack speed with um, you know like uh, a little bit of damage here and there and then i decided to run uh, another cluster jewel which is the crit one uh, as you can see, I'm running pressure point and quick get away, and then I'm putting uh, my jewel there because I decided to put in two medium cluster jewel, which is megalomaniac. Uh, you can run anything, but I want to get volatile present and maybe a repeater or something like attack speed here, uh, you know, to get your start, you know, on the map better. You know, you have like attack speed. Uh, better attack speed means better clear uh, early on, better you know stack up like. The, uh, hit into stack or uh, inspired learning stack and i would probably change this to uh the electric something for the uh you know the, the wrath itself uh because uh, i feel like wrath is better because now i can't really keep up my damage my lightning damage with my cold damage as you can see uh it's almost you you, you kind of almost want to get your lightning damage more than cold damage because you will roll lightning damage low pretty often so your coal damage will higher and then sometimes you get your lightning damage higher than coal you get a full rotation of the uh, trinity you get a uh, full work uh, on the trinity and you know i'm just use the uh, spike concoction and storm rider because i decided to drop this node right so i don't have the one mastery for 10 percent chance of getting power charge on crit uh, so that's why i'm going for uh the uh the storm rider but if you you know value the uh, crit chance more than the one attack fire additional projectile then you can drop storm rider and save some points here uh, and then you can use uh, these points to do anything else on the tree it's it's not that bad like um, you know like dropping additional projectile it just means you have less clear but usually you don't need this with the dead eye anyway you get like two extra already and you get another two from dying sun so like it's not that worth like but i'm still 
probably gonna pick up the chance to gain power charge here and drop storm rider in the end because i don't i can't really find a good combination of storm rider and something else so this is the best one that i can find uh, which is the attack speed doing flask and then just 20 percent effect of uh, uh flash charge gain uh, and effect of flask for four seconds when you uh, use flask which is really nice uh right uh but yeah other than that it's not really anything like this is probably the biggest change i changed uh on my character which is dropping a bunch of notes and then getting uh running the uh medium cost jewel megalomaniacs and stuff like that uh if you you're probably not gonna get a you know a, a exact same version of this uh but you can work around like you know using anything that you can find that can work for your build uh probably just run um you know i, I ran this because i want to run you know an extra aura as you can see right uh, but you don't really need hero eyes here but i just want to see the explosion of hero eyes it's it's really really cool looking and it's it's fun to look at so that's why i'm still running hero eyes even though it's not worth anything uh it's add a little bit of cold damage here and there but it's not that amazing uh, compared to a lot of damage you add from gems and uh you know like uh, aura so if you want to drop this then you can drop hero eyes you have a little bit more mana and then you can run those, uh, you know, something extra, uh, you know, more damage or more defense, uh, depending on how you feel about the build, how to feel about the character, and how much you want to push it into the end game. And I probably want to keep the Herald Eyes as much as possible, <laughs> because it's, it's make the build fun and enjoyable to play. Uh, but other than that, is probably nothing here. I didn't change anything about my Atlas passive tree. Uh, I will eventually drop the. Uh, I will eventually drop the uh, this one, you know, the torment, all the torments, and then once I get into the uh, tier 15 or tier 16 version of the map, and then run uh, Searing Exact instead. Uh, I'm probably gonna do like 10% chance to double proc, and maybe this one, right? Just like more reward in general, and then probably drop the all that glitters because this one doesn't seem that good, to be fair. Uh, it's feels like a placebo effect and 10% chance to be a covetous shrine it's rarely anything like you don't really see this that often and it's not really feel like it's worth four points even with the magic line that we have right so in the end I probably dropped that but uh, that's probably it for you know, this video and if you have any question uh, you want to ask you can write down below or any suggestion for this character uh, at all like for a wonder version of this build I feel like I may be missing something because I didn't really play one that much but you know thanks uh, uh, thank thanks for uh, you know but you know for the uh, help I guess if you have you know, any idea on improving this character but that's pretty much it you know but if you want to talk about the awakening gem uh, the awakening gem I will use Awakened Gem, but not for now because I don't have currency. Uh, I don't want to spend currency on Awakened Gem right now. I want to upgrade on some other parts because Awakened Gem is probably the last part that I will upgrade on the character. Uh, but that's going to be it, guys. Hopefully, hopefully it's helped uh, some of you guys who want to follow the build. But uh, I recommend to just play both version of the build. It's much better and you have so much more damage and so much more survivability with bow, uh, with the spell suppression chest and stuff like that. But that's going to be it. Bye. <laughs>